Hello everyone, I am Dina Carter and I'd like to thank you very much for joining me today and for all the questions that you have sent to me and, and concerns. And I would like to encourage you to continue to feel free to ask me any questions you might have. It may not necessarily be on the topic that we're discussing today, but just anything that you have an interest in regarding nutrition. And today we are going to talk about food enzymes and why they are essential to life. Um, some of you may be a little familiar with what enzymes are and many of you may not be familiar with them. So just to review, basically any food that's not been cooked in any form uh, contains all the enzymes that are essential to help us digest that food and that could be vegetables, it can be fruit, it can be meat, um, etc. Anything that we can eat raw um, contains the enzymes that are critical. What happens is when we consume a diet of only cooked foods, for instance, if you only have toast in the morning where you're heating the bread up, and toasting the bread, believe it or not, actually kills the enzymes that are present in the bread. Um, also, if you're eating uh, nut butters that are roasted, very, you know, very, you know um, roasted as opposed to being raw, that in itself will also make it much more difficult for the body to digest. And what happens is that over time we wear out our pancreas and we're more prone to degenerative diseases like diabetes, um, cancer, arthritis, and so on. So it is very important to always have a balance in the diet with cooked food as well as raw food. And it's important to always include raw vegetables and fresh fruits in our daily diet. Um, otherwise, we will need to supplement. Um, if you don't like eating raw foods or if you find you have digestive issues, that's something we'll talk about later on as to what you can do to supplement to help with the whole digestive system. So why do we need enzymes? We need enzymes because every single reaction that takes place in our body is dependent upon an enzyme. So when we don't have any enzymes in our system, the body actually ends up breaking down and eventually death um, occurs. On the other hand, when we consume plenty of enzymes, and especially you can also do it in a juice form. Those of you who have had fresh vegetable juices, you know, as long as you drink the juice within 10 minutes of it being juiced, all the enzymes are present in the juice and you actually benefit from all the vegetables. In fact, the absorption of nutrients is 30 times more in vegetable juices and fresh fruit juices than it is in actually eating um, those foods. The only problem is when you juice something, you also eliminate the fiber. So it's very important to do both. You can't live without fiber. We need fiber to help us with proper bowel elimination and to prevent constipation. So now what I'd like to do is to start to look at what are some of the common symptoms many of you would experience or could experience if you didn't have sufficient enzymes in your digestive tract. One of the most uh, common symptoms of uh, low digestive enzymes are bloating or belching, especially after eating a meal, also burning in the stomach, uh, a feeling of fullness or heaviness after eating. Nausea is another common symptom that people often feel after eating or ta even taking supplements. And gas is the biggest one that most people have often shared with me. And that typically is an indicator of insufficient digestive enzymes. Bad breath, either diarrhea or constipation, okay, also undigested food in the stool, food allergies, skin breakouts or even acne, also, if you're prone to yeast infections or chronic yeast infections, uh, dysbiosis, which is a term that indicates an overgrowth of unhealthy intestinal bacteria in the digestive tract. These are the most common symptoms people will often experience of lacking uh, digestive enzymes. So some of you may have some of those symptoms of low digestive enzymes and we will take a look at what you can do to improve that. Because what happens is if you don't take care of the problem now, it will only get worse as you age and then you're going to be prone to more serious chronic degenerative diseases. So how can we increase the enzymes naturally through our diet? Most of us in the Western world eat 
far too much cooked food and not enough raw foods. Some simple uh, improvements that you can make in your diet. If you're eating bread in the morning and toasting it, that right there is killing off all the enzymes. Bread itself, when it's baked, is baked at a high temperature and that kills off all the enzymes in the bread. So you can replace bread with raw crackers. So what can you put on the raw crackers? Instead of using roasted nut butters like peanut butter, you're much better off buying raw almond butter or raw macadamia nut butter or raw pecan butter or walnut butter and so on. Another very important um, example is that instead of having lots of soups, um, start switching over to more fresh vegetable juices instead. You can either purchase a juicer to use at home or you can go to the local health food store where they make fresh juices and enjoy a combination of different vegetables in your juice and add some ginger because ginger helps the whole digestive process. And the problem nowadays with raw meat and raw fish is that we have salmonella, we are more prone to E. coli infections and also picking up hepatitis A. So I recommend keeping, if you are going to keep eating meat and fish, just make sure that it's cooked, properly cooked, and then supplement with digestive enzymes. So what are digestive enzymes? We have two different categories. We have plant-based digestive enzymes and we also have pancreatic enzymes. I don't recommend the pancreatic digestive enzymes because your body becomes dependent on that and your body's own production of enzymes will shut down. If you keep to plant-based enzymes, these are made usually from rice um, or some other similar plant and they will actually help us build up a reservoir in our pancreas so that we actually strengthen the pancreas over time. And what you want to look for in a digestive enzyme is protease to help you digest protein, amylase to digest carbohydrates and starches, and also cellulase to help break down uh, fiber from our food so you can get the most nutrients from your food. Some of the uh, better brands of digestive enzymes are Quantum Digest. Um, also, another good brand is Nest Chewables, if you prefer to do something in a chewable form. And then I have also created a digestive enzyme, which I have found over the years has really helped my patients. A lot of them have had all these issues with digest digestion, and the digestive enzymes have really worked well for them. And, you know, many of my patients in my private practice experience a lot of these symptoms because of what our diet really has been and also what we've all grown up with. So really reduce the fast food in your diet, you know, none of the french fries, none of the hamburgers, no fried other fats, and start to incorporate something raw at every single meal. Again, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward as we continue on my series.